Big Bang Woofers with lots of new tech best describes the Memphis M7 subwoofers. Memphis Car Audio is not a new kid on the block and they've been putting out quality equipment for years upon years. In this video we'll be taking a close look at the M7 woofers available in 10 inch, 12 inch and 15 inch. So don't go anywhere. Hey, what's up? My name is Josh, I'm with Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews all the best in aftermarket auto accessories like car audio, suspension, performance, and more because we don't drive stock. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to check out all the best in the aftermarket vehicle world. So Memphis has a large selection of subwoofers starting with the SC all the way up to the VIV. Now Memphis Car Audio's headquarters are located, yes, in Memphis, Tennessee. And this company has been putting out Southern style car audio equipment designed to keep up with the deep bass music that's popular in that region. But not only in that region, bass heads from all over the US have supported this brand because the quality, value, and the deep bass these woofers put out. Now this particular line of M series woofers dates back several years starting with the M5, then evolved to the M6 and now is the M7. Now each progression came with improvements with this woofer having the most changes thus far, but we'll get into that in a minute. So let's go over what we'll be covering in this video. First, we'll go over the features and specs for those of you that do not like to read and rather watch. Thank you. Then we'll go over some of the newly added features and what they mean as far as performance is concerned. Then we'll fire up a 12 inch and a box made by Memphis Audio specifically for the M7 and we will get an SPL reading out of them with our Term Lab Competition SPL meter. So let's take a look at the specs. Now these woofers have a double stitched rubber surround and the reinforced fiberglass cone are the two elements that add structure to the cone to make sure it can withstand long excursion and movement for these woofers. Now these woofers are available in 10 inch, 12 inch and 15 inch and have a two and a half inch voice coil that can handle 750 watts RMS, 1500 watts peak, along with a 120 ounce magnet. Now the cast aluminum basket incorporates these large vents to keep the voice coil cool. In addition to that, Memphis has added their DVVC technology, which means direct vent voice cooling. Now those vents are located on the back of the magnet and they bring air directly onto the voice coil to further maximize cooling. Also, these woofers have Memphis's patent pending selectable impedance technology. Now that will allow you to choose between a one or two ohm woofer. So if you start with one and decide to add another one, you can go from a single one ohm woofer to two two ohm woofers and match it with a model block one ohm stable amp. Okay, as promised, here are the specs for each size, starting with the 10 inch. Now remember the power handling and magnet are the same across the board, 750 watts RMS and 1500 watts peak with a 120 ounce magnet. Also, the X max is the same at 15.24. Now the recommended seal box for the 10 is 0.7 and ported is 1.6. And the frequency response is 35 Hertz up to 150 Hertz with the residence frequency at 35 Hertz. On the 12 inch woofer, the recommended seal box is 1.25 cubic feet and the ported is 2.5 cubic feet. The frequency response is 33 Hertz up to 150 Hertz and the resident frequency is a little bit less at 33 Hertz. And on the 15, the recommended seal box is 2.6 and the ported is 4.4. The frequency response is 28 to 150 Hertz and the resident frequency is 28 Hertz. Okay, so that will do it. So let's head out and check out the 12 inch woofer in Memphis's prefab ported enclosure designed to the exact specs to maximize the potential of this woofer. Now we'll be testing this out in a 2017 three series BMW off a Memphis PRX A1001. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're gonna bounce around with a few different music tracks here. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a 50 Hertz bass test by Extreme Bass Booster. Uh, so let's check this one out and we're going to get an SPL reading on this first, okay? All 
All right, so we got 134.7 on the SPL. Pretty good. Again, single 12 inch woofer in a ported box. Bass plays really deep. Everything was vibrating in here. Rear view mirror was vibrating. Cable was vibrating. Everything on the mirror was vibrating. Definitely, definitely has some really deep bass as to be expected. But we're going to go ahead and listen to some music. Like I said earlier, we're going to bounce around. So we'll check out some rock music, some pop music, and then I'll give you some commentary on, on how well this woofer performed. So let's check out this Nirvana track. You have some deep bass here, but you also have some nice snappy uh, bass drums as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so the woofer is definitely able to keep up with this without being too sloppy. Again, you know, this is a 12 inch woofer in a ported box, so it's not going to be extremely accurate, but it's definitely not lagging. So if I had this woofer in my car, I would definitely listen to this song and not be disappointed. All right, next, let's try some ACDC. All right, so also on the song, you have some tight bass that the woofer is able to keep up with. Okay, so this song definitely sounds good as well. All right, let's move on. All right, so let's check out this Jack Harlow song. This song's in heavy rotation when my kids are in the car, so let's see how it does. Up, up the, up. All right, so this song has obviously got some really deep bass notes in it. We're hovering around 40, 50 hertz. And the woofer definitely is able to hit those deep, deep bass notes, just like we did on the first track. So, you know, for pop music, hip hop music, obviously this woofer is going to perform very well for that type of music. Okay, so let's hit you with some old school. I'm going to do the SOS band, Take Your Time. This has very snappy bass in the beginning, and I think it picks up a little bit later. But let's go ahead and take a listen to it. All right, for the last song, I'm going to hit you with a little country. Uh, Fancy Like by Walker Hayes. This song actually has a lot of really deep bass. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so this song has really deep bass. Um, I was checking out the RTA here, and you have lots of deep bass around 45 hertz. And then when the bass actually shifts lower, it actually goes around 35 as well. So the woofer is definitely able to handle those lower frequencies. I believe this woofer's resonance frequency is 35, so it does really, really good on this song. All right, so that will conclude our demonstration. These woofers are accurate and able to play very low frequencies for a wide range of music. The M7 woofers were designed with versatility and performance in mind. The combination of Memphis's great technology provides a very balanced subwoofer that produces both accurate and powerful bass, one of our favorite subs here at Breaker Stereo and Performance. This is a great option for those in the market that want lots of bass without taking up as much space as let's say having two woofers. I'm gonna give these woofers a four and a half star based on the ability to play a wide range of music. Also, they have lots of great design elements that will keep these woofers pumping for many years to come. Now, if you're interested in these woofers, we will leave links in the description below, taking you directly to the product page. Remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. That's gonna do it. Again, my name is Josh, I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.